it's Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner. Today we're actually going to be using a couple of the things from a couple of different design teams to make a really, really cute card. First off, I'm using one of the die sets from Scrappy Tales that you saw not too long ago when I made a pop-up card, so you can check out that video here. This time though, yeah, I decided that because those little bookcases have a little light up at the top, I am going to make this a light up card. So I have cut out all of the pieces to create one of the bookshelves and I'm putting everything together with some different colors. And again, I'm using the pretty gold for the lamp and all of the things. So that is the main part of this card. So I am putting all of that stuff together and then we're gonna put it onto a card panel to make this light up. So we've got the bookshelves and we've got a backing piece for the bookshelves. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a pencil and drawing a little dot behind where my light is so that I can position my lights just the way I want them. So I'm just using a pencil for that. No one's actually gonna notice. And then I decided, you know what? I'm gonna also mark up around the light because I want the light to kind of show shine down. Yeah, I've got a couple of things in mind. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just poke a hole through the the dot that I drew that's at the bottom of the light where the light would be shining and that's where we're going to start off with. Then I decided, you know what, I want this to be a little bit bigger. So I'm using the middle size um, teardrop that's in the Stampin' Die Set from Hair, Pear Blossom Press to cut out a little aperture there for, to let a little bit more light shine through. And of course I have to test to make sure everything is lined up and it looks like it's gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna run this through our die cutting machine and then we can move to the next step. Now, like all of the lights that you're going to see, let's say, in a library, yeah, the light is not going to be bold and bright and intense. We want it to be a little bit diffused, and I wanted it to be a little bit yellow. So I took a little scrap of vellum, cut it out just the right size to go behind that little hole, colored it up in yellow, and I'm just going to adhere that right behind that little circle, or rather right behind that teardrop. That is going to diffuse the light and make it shine through as a yellow light, so that's gonna be awesome. Next, I'm taking one of our one lights. Now, the one lights are one of the easiest ways to add a light to your card. It's basically a mini flashlight. So I'm gonna position that behind the light. I have to test everything, you know it. So you can see the light shines through perfectly and it is going to be blocked a little bit by the lamp. Now I need to adhere everything down. I chose some blue striped pattern paper that I think looks a little bit like wallpaper to be for my background and I need to decide where I want to put my button. Now the way that this is going to work, I'm going to have the button off to the side with that one light right behind the lamp so that I know where to put the rest of it. I used a pencil on that background just to mark it. Then I decided, you know what, I think I need another hole. So. The way this is gonna work, I know I keep saying that, the, the little mechanism, our little flashlight, is going to be on the back of this panel, but now I wanna make sure I've got plenty of light coming through both layers of the cardstock. So now I need to use that same little die and cut a hole in the same spot that I'm gonna be placing my bookshelf on the card. Now, this would've worked better if I planned it better before I started putting everything together, but this was just a, a playtime. I was excited about this um, die set, thought it would work wonderfully with the Pear Blossom Press lights. So I just started playing, didn't even have the, um, the audio on. So yeah, I'm doing a voiceover for this one, which you guys don't really hear me do very often. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut a hole there. And you know what? If it's in the wrong place, that's okay because I can shift my little bookcase over so it's gonna be a perfect fit. Now we do need to make sure we have a place to tell the person to press in order to make it light up. So I'm just using some suede shoes and the press here stamp from that stamp set and just put that on the back of, on the front of my cart, right where that light's gonna go. So now I can light up my light behind the cart and I can adhere that in place using some double-sided double adhesive. Now that I know that I've got the light right where I want it, I'm gonna trim around the edges of my panel so it'll leave a little white border of my card base when I put everything in place. Next, I'm taking the Pear Blossom Press World's Greatest Foam Tape, love this stuff, I'm using that to adhere everything together and give that little bit of height that I need to make sure that the it's level 
basically with my little mechanism. Now, Amanda at Pear Blossom Press designed this perfectly. This tape is some of the best stuff that I found. I can't wait to get some more. Yeah, you guys can see I use it quite a bit. First off, it is double thick, so it is the perfect height for our little mechanism here. Second, it has really, really easy release paper on the back. And third and most important, this stuff is repositionable. Yes, repositionable for 30 minutes. So if you mess up like I tend to do, you can take everything back off without worrying about ripping your paper. Okay, let's go ahead and put together a little seed. So I'm gonna add some glue to the back of my bookcases and put it down onto that blue frame. And while we're doing that, let me ask you something. Have you guys tried out any of the Pear Blossom Press lights? And do you have any pictures of your projects? Once you've done one, you can't help but take a picture because they are so darn pretty. And I would love, love, love to see what you make. So please let me know. Also, is this the kind of video that you like to watch? I would love to know that too. So be sure to leave me a comment down below. Okay, now that we've got those two pieces together, I'm adding some more glue to the back of my bookcase and I'm gonna position it right over the little um, teardrop that we cut in this back panel. Now one reason I'm doing that is I want to make sure everything is lined up perfect before I put it on my card base. For the sentiment I'm using another stamp from Scrappy Tales. This one says wishing you a year of happy endings all part of her um, spring collection and I think that is perfect to go with that little bookcase. Anyway I'm using that on the front of the card as my sentiment and then I'll put everything onto the card base. Okay, I know I was already harping about the foam tape, but did you see how easy all of those, uh, all that release paper came off of it? I absolutely love this stuff. And also, if I happen to put it on, <laughs> yeah, on my card a little crooked, it's okay because I can just lift it off. It's not going to damage the card stock at all and reposition it for a half hour after I put everything down the first time. Yay, love it. Anyway, it lights up perfect, and I think this turned out super, super cute. So thank you guys for dropping in. You guys have a wonderful day and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.